episode number three, and today we're going to be talking about some people's favorite African cichlid, the peacock cichlid. Yeah, just like many people, these are probably my favorite African cichlid, uh, just because of their wide variety of colors and everything, and uh, they just are a really amazing fish. Probably one of the closest fish to being a saltwater fish as far as their brightness of their colors. Now, these fish are a very popular fish, of course. A lot of people have these, and most people have their own designated tank for them, uh, usually from anywhere from about a 55 to a 75, to so even a 125, or even bigger than that, but most people have a designated tank for them. Now, these guys aren't the most aggressive of African cichlid out there, uh, but they also don't have a very wide variety of tank mates. Now, most people will have these guys as the main fish in the tank, also along with some bottom feeders as well, like Cenodonis catfish, bristlenose plecos, clown loaches, stuff like that, but it's good to have something on the bottom of these guys, but also something that's very compatible with them as well. As far as tank size, that all depends on how many and their size. My African cichlid tank is a 55 gallon, and all my African cichlids are pretty small in size right now, but they're gonna get much bigger and eventually that tank won't be really big enough for all of them. And these guys like a higher pH range, a higher temperature, they like the water pretty warm. They love sand on the bottom, like a really rocky scape where you just like stack rocks up like I did, like I just kinda uh, made three layers of stack rocks and I mean they absolutely love going in and out of there. Or if you just make a whole bunch of caves for them, they like a really rocky scape though. Now one thing you don't wanna put in the tank with these guys is live plants. They love going around and digging them up. They're also omnivores, so they will eat them as well. So it's best to stick with either just artificial plants or just no plants in the tank at all. Now some people like to have an all male peacock cichlid tank just because of all the really nice looking colors and everything, but it's best that you have a bigger tank with those guys because if you have all males in one tank, they need to have their own little piece of space in the tank because if they don't, there's going to be a lot of fighting and eventually one's going to start taking over. And, and typically in every African cichlid tank, there's always one or two cichlids that kind of rule the tank. Like in my tank, it's my dragon blood. He's like the top dog. And then next to him is the Snow White, which that's a different type of African cichlid. But now African cichlids are one of the smaller species of cichlids. They don't get as big as some of the South American cichlids. But they simply will get up to about four to six inches, and I've seen some even bigger than that before. Now I understand that when you have African cichlids together, and there's you know a pretty big group of them, there's going to be some fighting, there's going to be some chasing around. That's just naturally in them. Now one thing that peacock cichlids and African cichlids as a whole are very susceptible to is bloat. So you definitely have to be very very careful about how you feed them and what you feed them. Yes, they do need protein in their diet, but it's best not to feed them a very high in protein diet. Most people just. Feed their African cichlids a very balanced pellet and uh, that's basically all that I'll feed mine. Every once in a while we'll feed them some blood worms or some brine shrimp or mysis shrimp but for the most part I stick with a pellet and also some little veggie pellets. And like most cichlids these guys will live up to about eight to ten years under good care. Just make sure that they have a big enough tank and you keep the water very very clean. Other than that these are some of those beautiful freshwater fish out there. Just make sure you have a very appropriately scaped tank for them and a big enough tank and I mean you can have yourself a really really nice looking tank. But that is going to be pretty much it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Maybe you learned something from the video. African cichlids are one of my favorite fish to keep. Let me know any other fish they want me to do in this series as well. But anyways guys, with that being said, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.